I'd like to welcome you all to this important summit on the future of positive education. If you are a parent, you're, of course you are concerned about your child's education. Most parents are concerned about their, their children's future. They want their children to achieve good grade, go to top university, and get good jobs. And they, in their mind, that is the, the best gift they can give to their ch children. But I think Marty Silliman is correct that in, a, in addition to academic curriculum, our children also need part of education in order to live a good life. I think the great educator Aristotle said, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. So Sidney is correct in emphasizing a part of education, but I do not think that uh, the most important thing for a part of education is happiness. So in, in his beginning statement, he said that uh, part of education is focused on the skill for happiness. Children do not need to be taught how to, how to be happy. They, they, by nature, they want to have fun. They want to have happiness. They want to have pleasure. In fact, I'm very worried when, when, I see, when I see the children spend most of their time entertaining themselves by watching their favorite program TV or playing their favorite games. But oh, you must you spend time studying hard. It's not the best way to to prepare children for the future because we are living in a very uncertain world. They need a lot more than head knowledge on how to be happy to survive in an uncertain and difficult future. Now here is a picture. The teacher, it, it hard to, it's difficult for teacher to be happy in today's environment. It's difficult for anyone to be happy in today's environment. In fact, more and more research show that the pursuit of happiness itself can make you unhappy. When you focus on yourself, you're bound to be disappointed because often things do not go your way. So I think the whole emphasis on, on the pursuit of happiness or happiness skills it is, might be counterproductive. Often it results in toxic positivity that pursuing a personal happiness makes you more miserable. So later on, Silliman broadened his focus. So now a part of education and with part of emotion, engagement, positive relations, human meaning, and encouragement, all those are good things. But in and by themselves, they will not work either. Because it's not possible to have positive emotion, positive emotion all the time. Because we all have our unhappy moments. We all have our dark side. So true positivity 
he learned how to embrace dark side and still see the light. If it to be truly engagement, truly engage with eternity to the point of experiencing the flow. But that requires a lot of practice and a lot of painful discipline. Same thing with part relationship. Do you know? If people say, oh, I'm so happy to be in love. I'm so happy to have fun. If I'm not happy, then we'll break up. There's so many divorces. Strong relationship involving forgiveness, gratitude, and kindness in spite of the pain other people gave to you. More recent research showed that uh, the, the thing that mediate well-being and successful, successful uh, marriages huh, for forgiveness and endurance and kindness. So if I'm not happy, I don't have a happy feeling, let's split. That is not only selfish but naive. Same thing with meaning. Most think that, they, oh, I want to be meaning, so they're happy. And, and, and it's advertising, advertising also use meaning as, as a slogan. Uh, but if you really want to have meaning in life, you have to transcend your ego, transcend your limitation, and willing to sacrifice. Finally, achievement also, you cannot achieve anything without your willingness to fail and to sacrifice. So this, this is, so the whole idea of public education, we need to reimagine and rethink what is good, at, what is possible education. Here, it's all again. The rules of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. You cannot have achieve eudaimonia. You cannot achieve excellence in anything without going through the pain of struggle, of overcoming, of failure. So if our children are not prepared for the hardship of life, or one of the fun, they don't have much future. So this is uh, from uh, this statement and from Dr. Scott Pack. That's difficult. This is the great truth. You, anyone who dismisses this truth expect life to be easy, already lost half the battle before the world started. So we, we need to change our mindset that part of technology must involve preparing children for hardship. So one way is to, they need to know who the who they really are. They really know, need to know the bright side, the dark side. They also need to know how to live with, with the dark side and vice and bright side, how to have the courage to do the right thing. But these are these are fund, fundamental. Okay. Finally, the best gift we can give to our children is that in, in positive education is to learn to have faith in themselves. Faith in humanity, faith in God, and also to develop hope. Hope in a better future. Hope that it can make a difference. Hope it can contribute to humanity, to their own life. And also need to learn how, how to connect with people, how to connect with themselves, and how to love. Love is not just feeling. So, so in this symposium, I trust that uh, our distinguished panelists can all bring their perspective 
or a different kind of public education that teach children the, the reality of, of human existence and prepare them better for an uncertain and harsh future. Okay, time for our panelists. Bye.